What is up, people? What is up? What is up? What is up? I was busy watching YouTube this morning, man, and I got an interesting thing to let y'all know. So, it's going to be about synthesizers. Very interesting topic, and um, I'm going to let y'all know what it is, uh, you know, how to, and all that. But first off, I want to share something. Um, on Google Maps, if you're a truck driver, first thing is, you know, you need to take care of yourself physically and cardio and all that you know what i'm saying take care of your body and since you drive a truck seven days a week um i exercise three times a week monday wednesday and friday and i'm gonna put a link in the description but on google maps i subscribe to planet fitness and you know i pay 20 bucks a month i go there get on the treadmill for uh jog for 20 minutes start out I can only jog for two minutes but now I jog for 20 minutes then I do um you know weightlifting for the other 30 minutes to 40 minutes um but anyways I'm gonna put a link in the description planet fitness I have a list that all the places you can park a semi from Washington state to Florida up to New Jersey Pennsylvania Chicago all these places I'll put it in the description and go from there but anyways about the video synthesizers what is it? Well, a synthesizer is basically, if you know about an idea and, uh, you know, you, you learned it, you um, went through it in life, you put it into practice, just sharing that idea. I mean, it's very simple, but it's the new age gold mine, I tell you that. There's a lot of people making a lot of money, and it's nothing complicated, nothing crazy, it's just something that you had learned that you want you have experience in it and you bettered yourself from it and sharing that idea I mean it's <laughs> the simplest thing ever how to do it so there's lots of methods of how to do it you know you can go on YouTube when you post your videos you can go to Facebook um, TikTok, all these social media sites um, Another one is uh, Snapchat. You know, I, just, I use Snapchat and uh, post some videos. I haven't really been synthesizing because I haven't been sharing my experience on there. I've been just kind of sharing videos of what's going on and stuff. Anyways, now I have some uh, other key points, you know. And, uh, hey, just for everyone watching my videos, wants to know about the truck, what happened, I'm going to say that in the end. So stay tuned to the end. And... I'm going to tell you all exactly what's supposed to be going on, you know, this truck I'm in now, all different. Alright, anyways, so, so yeah, so it's lots of uh, ways to share it, um, just to bring out an idea and share it with others. But, do not be a yes man, It's one thing, you know. Learn to say no, it's a very important concept. I know, um, one of my personality defects for me is a people pleaser so i want to please people you know i want to help them so i'm going to say oh would you do this yes 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 well now and for a little while now i'm learning to say no you have to learn to say no you know um nature wise we're not built when someone asks us for a cup of water we say no you know what i mean not going to that standard but i mean you understand the concept but if you say yes to all these different people and you divide your time to all these different people, you're a divided person and you're not really focused or, you know, streamed uh, content on one idea or one main path or you get going down five different paths at once. It's not a good thing. Only focus on things you can control. So, if you create a YouTube channel, you do Facebook, whatever, I, you know, one video does good, one video does bad. Don't beat yourself up for the videos that do bad. You know, only focus on what you control. Look at the video that you did good and focus on doing good videos. You know. Next thing to ponder is regrets. Are things you didn't try or didn't do. You know, when you're 80 or 90 years old, you don't want to have regrets in life. You know, that's the um, biggest thing that I think a person looking back when they're in a nursing home or something is regrets chances they never took and you already know my favorite saying you guys watch my channel is the bigger the risk the bigger the reward 
me say that again for the people in the back. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. There you go, I got some light off me. Like I said, I don't have my truck, so I don't have my uh, power inverter, you know, I don't have my Starlink, don't have my laptop. So I'm doing this on my phone, it is what it is. Don't have regrets. Choose the choice you will less regret. So when you're making choices, you know, make sure you choose the choice you will less regret. I would put off choices like Jeff Bezos, um, even though I really don't like the guy. I, he's still a successful person, so he's something, somebody you can learn off of. But anyways, he don't make no regret. He don't do no meetings until 10 a.m. in the morning. You know, he ponders in the morning, goofs off, relaxes, has dinner with his kids, and then he don't schedule no important meetings until 10 a.m. Um, you know, he doesn't do them out at 5 p.m. when he's already mentally drained and he's not thinking clearly. So, some little aspects to look at in your life to, you know, to make smart choices and don't have regrets. The other one is make time for yourself. Take time to relax in the morning. So, like I said, you know, he don't do any important meetings till 10 a.m. But in the morning time, he takes time for himself. He relaxes, eats, has breakfast, so forth. You know, um, learn a healthy lifestyle, basically. The other thing is, which is kind of interesting, is uh, this morning, I've been up since uh, 4.30, it's 8 o'clock now. But doing meanings, meaningless things in the morning opens your brain for creativity. Like me. <laughs> this morning, I've been hanging out doing meaningless things, but... My brain has been popping off with these different ideas and different um, areas that I know I could go in which would create a financial freedom for me and not having to drive truck, you know. I mean, it's pretty crazy. The internet today and social media is a gold rush. Um, there's thousands and thousands of people. I mean, you look at Mr. Beast as the Supreme. Mr. Beast has a hundred... I don't want to quote it wrong, but like 138 million, million subscribers. I mean, he spends millions of dollars in video, but if you go back and look at his old videos, he is simply doing, learning YouTube and learning the uh, algorithm and l watching the analytics and grew his base from zero to 138 million, where he's doing, I guess, I'd met millions of dollars in revenue a month so important decisions make early in the morning but before lunch don't make them in the afternoon all right so that's a little snippet from the synthesizer i just had to share that with you guys because um you know i just was checking out this morning it's a very interesting topic and there's a lot of different avenues a person can go down to be a synthesizer you know they have um the one a uh, couple guys had talked about was school S-K-O-O-L dot com. And basically, if you have an, uh, an idea or, or something you went through, um, to be able to lay that out in a format and get paid from subscribers, you could charge $40, you could charge $100 a month, whatever you want to charge, and it's a learning atmosphere to accomplish different things, you know. Um, for me, I mean, I have 10 different things I've went through and accomplished, you know. From driving truck and being heavy set, I mean, now I got a little bit of abs, you know, got a little bit of uh, chest plate here just by exercising, but uh, addictions. Um, I went through heroin, crack, meth. I mean, <laughs> the one can the truck said, oh, you a meth head. Yeah, you know what? Seven years ago, I was doing all that. I was doing every drug in the book, heroin, meth, mushrooms, uh, yeah, coke, I mean everything there is and today I am clean and sober Cigarettes was the hardest cigarettes was the hardest cigarettes was top the cake, but you know it's been two years now with cigarettes and Like I said, I do my Nicorette, which is a uh, um, Basically like a lifesaver, you know a little thing you pop in your mouth Drink your morning coffee get your little buzz you know, nicotine, if you Google it, I said it before, but if you Google nicotine, nicotine is not addictive. Hmm, yeah. 
the stuff they put in cigarettes is addictive the embalming fluid the cyanide acid you know all this crazy stuff they put in there that's what's causing the cancer and killing you nicotine by itself is doesn't cause cancer i'm not it is addictive i can't say it's because otherwise why would i do it you know so but it is does not cause cancer nicotine by itself does not cause cancer so i like nicotine i like to drink my coffee in the morning put a uh, uh, icy mint lozenger in and get a little buzz you know what i'm saying why drink my coffee i like nicotine so i haven't given nicotine up yet but um I still go to the gym, work out, you know, like I said, I'm I'm jogging 20 minutes straight at 4.6 miles per hour, 20 minutes straight. I could probably jog for 40 minutes, you know. Um, I just stopped because after 20 minutes, I burn about 300 calories and I feel good about myself and I stop, you know. Um, but after a period of time, I will go higher. I just, for right now, you know, I started out two minutes, then I went up to five minutes, five minutes jogging five minutes walking then i went 10 minutes jogging five minutes walking 10 minutes jogging twice now i just up to 20 and after i get comfortable there i will move up to probably 30 minutes you know from there all right anyways about my truck uh, my baby my baby baby truck so i came to chicago i got body work done boom all right so it was three days um Got the hood all fixed up, everything fixed up. Put a brand new windshield in in, in my truck, you know. Boom. I am br I get it back Wednesday night. It's done. I go check on it, look at it, everything looks good. Thursday morning I go there and uh you know go to put my stuff in there. Da da da. Well, I pop the hood and I check all my fluids. Um, doing my you know pre trip checking it out and um, I noticed the uh, cylinder the the. A case right by the power steering pump um i believe it is transmission fluid and power steering fluid together don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyways i check it out and it is not in the sight glass no more i said wow you know before monday when i dropped it off it was so i check it out there's no fluid in there i said wow that's crazy i run to the discount nap auto parts or whatever i get some fluid put it in there boom start it up it is making a squealing sound. It does this for like three or four minutes. You know, I call the fleet manager. I let everyone know. Um, you know, company wise, that's over overhead my truck. You know, maintenance wise, so forth. They all know about it. Boom. All right. Well, after two or three minutes, it stops. So I said, okay. Well, maybe it, you know, just need to get the fluid go through there. So. Um, I have a guy from the office there, you know, uh, jump in the rental car and we go back and I'm going to drop off the rental car. Well, when I bring the rental car up, it has like a half a tank and it was supposed to be three quarters. So they're going to charge me like $30, $40 for gas. So I said, wait, so I'll go fill it up and bring it back. Boom. I go out there and tell the guy, to, uh, I call the guy, I say, Hey, just follow uh, We need to go to the gas station. I'll put gas in the truck and I'll put gas in this rental car. Boom. And uh, we going over there to the gas station, and I hear, I'm talking to him, and the truck starts beeping. Beep, beep. Transmission fault. Hmm. So, um, instead of stopping at the gas station, we we're going to go right back to the Super Ego um, mechanic shop off Buses Road. We're on the back side. We missed the turn. We're going to come back around make a block. Well, all of a sudden, my truck stops. It will not move. It's on the railroad tracks. So me and him push off railroad tracks. You know, I get him an Uber back to the office. And, ha, yeah, we call the fleet manager. Let him know. Boom, boom, boom. Well, tow truck comes. Super Ego tow truck. <laughs> come and picks up my truck and brings it over to Kenworth. So, that's where we're at. I get the rental car back, go back to the office. And, um go get another truck you know i'm in a kenworth um it's a couple months older than mine it's a kenworth i'll check let's see. it's a kenworth it's got gauges and stuff but um i have to get it does have a bunk heater which is nice what i'm going to do i got to get a little maintenance I'm trying to operate it last night but it wasn't one to operate very good there it is right there s bar but um, 
it keeps saying flame not detected so i'll probably you know pay some guy to come check it out and look at it and go from there but yeah i haven't been making no i didn't make no video because like i said i have i have my laptops you know my starling all my stuff out of the truck um i have no power source so i could go buy a power inverter put it in myself do all that stuff but um flip side of it i got a phone call friday and um i don't know there's a phone call about an, an office job and i'm not gonna say too much right now because it's really in urgent early stages but um it's a possibility i might be making a shift out of truck driving into an office job nothing set in stone i'm you know still a lot of variables out there i gotta look at but that's just a preview you know I'll let you guys know of course what goes on what I'm doing what's happening you know um all that but that's where we're at this morning you know Sunday morning um I told dispatch I'm ready for a load my dispatcher I got the truck Friday at like five o'clock he went home boom and Saturday and Sunday you already know the weekend dispatchers how it is I have a reefer. I never picked up my trailer because, you know, why? I, they're like, well, did you get your trailer? I was like, no, nah, I'm 30 minutes away. Once I get a load, I'll go pick it up and go pick the load up. But right now I'm bobtail with no trailer. Why would I go pick up a trailer and try to f park in Chicago with a trailer? Doesn't make no sense. So, yeah, I'm just bobtail parking. A lot easier to park in the truck stop, you know. I'm at a pilot over here, and that's it, man. I'm going to keep you all up to date. But that's what's going on. Synthesizer is the word for the week. Synthesizer. If you went through something, you learned something, make some money off it. Become a synthesizer, man. Synthesize your way into financial freedom is the thing. I'll put the link in the description for the Planet Fitness. Y'all check it out. Get your exercise on. Get right. You know, I would take off my shirt, but shoot, you already see. I got a nice little, nice little chest on me, man. My stomach's not, my stomach's not sticking out, you know what I mean? My, my chest actually sticks out more than my stomach does, so. For truck drivers, that's important, man. Work on your mental and physical health. It's the most important thing you have. And throughout life, if you don't work on it, you're going to be forced to work on it at uh, times you don't want to, and it's going to be ten times harder, so. Get it right, get it tight. Get in there like swimwear. Till next video, man. See y'all.